And this man didn't even come to see his son be born. He went to Philly to play the PlayStation with little Uzi. He thought that was more important than seeing his son be born. Imagine, imagine spending time playing PlayStation with your friend instead of seeing your first son be, be born. Make that make sense. The idea of Playboy Cardi deciding to miss out on the birth of his own child to instead play PlayStation with Lil Uzi Vert was one of the most revealing aspects of Iggy Azalea's recent condemnation of Cardi. This happened in spanned a few days where Iggy aired out the two's dirty laundry for the world to hear and left Cardi looking indefendable at some points. And in this video today, we wanted not only to break down that situation, but we wanted to put the full timeline of the two's relationship into perspective from the start to now to get a full understanding of the two's troubled time together. Tracing this back to the very beginning lands us in September of 2018, where Daily Mail caught the two on a night out together. As you can see right here, Cardi and Iggy were snapped up by paparazzi entering a car together, sparking rumors that the two were dating. Cardi was even spotted giving Iggy a pink flower. And then the two would continue to be spotted out in the next couple months, making it pretty evident the two were a couple. And they made huge headlines in December, where Iggy Zelly bought Cardi a Lamborghini for Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Loser. <laughs> you dork. Touching on their relationship in this Vader article from June of 2019, Cardi spoke candidly on Iggy, saying they met whilst Cardi was overseas on tour, and that once they started talking, he cut off everybody. And also, by December of 2018, they'd actually moved in together. And as pictures of them continued to surface, it seems as though the two were in pretty deep. In July of 2019, engagement rumors flooded the internet as Iggy was spotted wearing a gigantic ring on her wedding finger. And later on in December of 2019, it got leaked to the public that Iggy was reportedly six months pregnant with a child of theirs. At that time though, the two remained silent about both the engagement and the baby and nothing was confirmed. However, then the two would seemingly break up later on in December when Iggy took to her Instagram to announce that she was single. However, Iggy quickly backtracked on this with another story, basically saying that she should never have made something so private public and seemingly so the two were back together. Then less than a month after this, in January, the two were spotted together in Australia, squashing any doubt that they had split up and confirming that they were still together. Fast forward though a few months to June of 2020, Iggy would officially announce to the world that the two had had a baby, later on revealing the name of her child to be Onyx and owed to her own gemstone inspired name Amethyst. Pictures of Iggy and the baby would then surface on the internet thanks to paparazzi, although at this time neither of them decided to share a picture of the baby officially. Then this brings us to October and this is when the world started to get an idea that perhaps things weren't so pleasant behind the scenes between the two. Iggy took to Instagram to say quote people take loyalty for granted and that's why I'd rather be alone and quote you lost a real one. She bluntly added after this that this meant she wasn't in a relationship and that she was raising her son alone but she then further clarified later on that Cardi was in fact still part of Onyx's life and that the two were co-parenting him. Iggy took this time to also reveal Onyx for the first time officially to the world showing off this picture of the two together. However despite the media circus that came of this with Iggy calling out Cardi so publicly, Cardi remained silent about anything in regards to Iggy or Onyx. However, later on in November, the two would make headlines again when Cardi tweeted out, quote, I told that bitch shut up, my son crying, which a lot of people inferred to be directly responding to Iggy's recent comments about him and took it as a bit of a diss. Iggy, however, didn't really react too harshly to this and afterwards she clarified that they spoke behind the scenes and apparently it wasn't directed towards her. Now, this then brings us to the recent events over the course of Christmas where everything spilled out publicly with a myriad of tweets, Instagram stories, and a 30 minute, yes, 30 minute Instagram live expose of Iggy towards Cardi. And there was a lot of things kind of said during all of this from Iggy, but essentially boils down to a few key points of how Iggy felt that Cardi had done her and her son wrong with his actions. Now, the major point of all of this is that Iggy said throughout her pregnancy that Cardi started cheating on her with a girl named Brandy Marion, which you can see on the screen right now. Brandy is Jordan's side chick who he's been fucking while I was pregnant. And Iggy backed up this by sharing this video right here of Brandy getting caught in their house together whilst Iggy and Cardi were away where apparently she was quote unquote dog sitting. Now Iggy also said that this happened numerous times and when confronted about this Cardi said that she was just a side chick and convinced Cardi it wasn't anything serious. Iggy trusted Cardi so Iggy kept on working with him to try to reconcile and keep their family together. 
Now, she also mentioned that apparently there were six or seven other girls that she knew of who Cardi also messed around with during this period. I could name six or seven other girls that he fucks while he's fucking you even right now. Even right now. However, she didn't mention any other names. Now, as I said earlier, the world only officially found out about Onyx after he was born, although there were unconfirmed rumors circulating the internet much earlier than that. And according to Iggy, this was due to Cardi wanting to hide the pregnancy and not tell anyone about the baby, as Cardi felt as though it would interfere with the release of his then upcoming album, Whole Lotta Red. I never wanted to keep my pregnancy hidden the whole time. I thought once I started showing that I would be able to announce it and be happy but this man kept saying that he was dropping an album and that he didn't want uh, my baby announcement to interfere with his album. Iggy also revealed that she gave birth to Onyx with a plan C section meaning that she had the date planned to give birth for quite some time and Playboy Cardi knew of this and instead of joining Iggy to be there for her son's birth he instead decided to go to Philadelphia to spend time recording and playing video games with Lil Uzi Vert. And this man didn't even come to see his son be born. He went to Philly to play the PlayStation with little Uzi. He thought that was more important than seeing his son be born. Imagine, imagine spending time playing PlayStation with your friend instead of seeing your first son be, be born. Make that make sense. And as well as this, she said that Cardi still to this day is yet to sign the birth certificate, which she showed on Twitter. Finally, she also revealed that the two were trying to make amends and were trying to still be a family all throughout this period, and that they still had plans to spend Christmas together as a family with a trip to Aspen. But Cardi canceled this last minute instead to go to Atlanta by himself without them to celebrate the release of his album. I told him this really what you're gonna do. You're gonna not be there for Christmas for your son. That's it, you're about to leave us stranded in LA with not shit and go off, have a little party, have your album party. And this was evidently true as Cardi was spotted in Atlanta turning up with Lil Yachty whilst Iggy shared photos of her and her son spending time together on Christmas. All in all, the general sentiment of her feelings towards Cardi, I would kind of summarize as him being less than an ideal father. He wasn't really spending time with her or their family, he was cheating on her, and it seems as though throughout the last year or so, their relationship has been extremely rocky, with them constantly going back and forth between being together and not, and it seems as though, to me at least, her kind of revealing this all to the public in this manner and kind of airing everything out was her kind of getting pushed to the point of no return, where she felt like she just had enough of it and had to vent and had to share all of it. Now she also shared messages between the two which you can see on screen right here where the two were still kind of clearly communicating and trying to be together with Cardi even vowing to marry her one day. Now after all of this went public and had the internet in an uproar, Cardi never once directly responded to anything he said but the two seemingly spoke behind the scenes as not too long after this she took to Twitter as you can see on screen right here basically saying hey everything is out in the air for the better, things are going to be better for Onyx moving forward, and that the issue is deaded and she's done talking about it. However, that was not the end of it, because not too long after these tweets, she seemingly got new information about what was going on behind the scenes from Cardi during her pregnancy, going on her Instagram story to allege that before Cardi was getting with Brandy, which was the girl she alleged Cardi slept with throughout her pregnancy, apparently Cardi was cheated on her with a different girl, the best friend of Brandy behind Iggy's back. So what I'm hearing is that while I was in Brazil last December, and Jordan was in Miami recording in the Hit Factory. Little Miss Brandy, you and your friend, whose profile name I will get, and yes, I will put you on front street too, that is coming my way soon, were both in the studio, but he wasn't fucking you yet, Brandy. He was fucking your friend. However, after she exposed that, for the last few days or so, it's been pretty quiet, and it seems as though Iggy has kind of put this situation to rest, and is kind of moving forward in regards to this without doing it publicly. And also, a day or so after this, Cardi, who as I said, still hadn't responded to anything Iggy said, actually took to Twitter to share some moments of him with Onyx, which you can see on screen right here. And that pretty much brings us up to speed with the last Cardi couple years, and especially a chaotic week or so of drama between Iggy and Cardi. Make sure to let us know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. Do you think Iggy should have taken this publicly? Do you think it should have been more so behind the scenes? What do you think of Cardi's actions throughout all of this, with him allegedly cheating, and not being there for his son's birth, etc, etc. Make sure to let us know in the comments below. But that's all from me today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to hit the like button if you haven't, and there are more no jumper videos on the screen right now. Make sure to check them out. Peace.